Hello guys, what you're about to see now is a video that I didn't plan to publish. You know that those filmmakers sometimes publish the unpublished videos or something behind the scenes? So the story is that I planned to reshoot the course on creating Laravel 6 SaaS with Cashier Stripe because I thought it was Laravel 6, it was a long time ago and it needs upgrading to Laravel 8 and maybe Tailwind and maybe newest Cashier. But after shooting two lessons, I realized that majority of those lessons are the same in Laravel 6 or Laravel 8. So same cashier, same Stripe API, same events, webhooks and all of that. So I decided to cancel that shooting after two lessons. And this you will see in the following 10 minutes or so what I've managed to shoot. So instead of being a lesson on Stripe and SAS, it will be a lesson on installing Laravel Breeze, creating a new menu item, creating database for plans, creating seeds, and then creating a specific checkout page, but without Stripe. So I hope it is still helpful for those of you who want to get familiar with Laravel Breeze specifically, or repeat some fundamentals in Laravel, how to create routes, controllers, views, also database seeds, and some more details. So let's go. So we start by installing a new Laravel project, Laravel new SAS. It will create a folder and install Laravel there. Then we will install a starter kit Laravel Breeze. So we go to CD SAS. Let's see, we should configure ENV. I have created a SAS database and SAS.test domain, so we don't need to configure anything here. And let's do composer require Laravel Breeze. This is the installation. So compose require Breeze with dash dash dev because we need it only on development environment then php artisan breeze install like this and then npm install and npm run dev and then we probably will need to run migrations to create a user table and we will be able to log in in our new SaaS application okay laravel mix successful and we run php artisan migrate also success and now we can launch our SAS test it was not found in my laravel valet locally now it is found and we can register and we can land inside of the dashboard. I will use fake filler Chrome extension, register, and we're inside our new application dashboard. And in this lesson, let's create a static page for billing. So here we will have a link for billing page, which will be static for now, listing three plans. But then in the next lesson, we will take care of the actual creating the plans in the database. So for now, we open our Laravel Breeze dashboard and let's open dashboard blade and we do file save as and we will create resources view slash billing and let it be index blade of billing so index blade we create that we change the name of the dashboard to billing and for now your own free plan for now so static text now route for that routes web so currently we have a dashboard with middleware auth let's make a route group so route group with middleware auth and then callback function and then we add the dashboard there and whatever routes will be inside protected by auth so middleware auth is not needed here and in here let's do route get billing and then we will have a controller with method let's generate that controller php artisan make controller billing controller okay and now we have that billing controller here which we can use billing controller class and then method index let's close the sidebar so it would be better readable billing controller we create a method public function index return view billing index which we've just created for now we don't need request so let's comment it out let's delete it okay so we have the route billing we have method we have the view we don't have the link yet and the link in the top right in laravel breeze is done in app layout so if you open app blade there's resources use layouts app blade and then if you scroll down there's navigation and we open that navigation blade and we scroll here so we have username and then there's one link to log out so let's duplicate that drop down link but without the form so x drop down link is a blade component of laravel breeze we just change route to billing dot index 
and we haven't assigned the name yet. So in route swap, let's assign a name of billing.index. There will be more pages with billing, so let it be index, billing index, and we don't need those on click events in JavaScript, and we rename logout to billing. And also we need to add that link in the mobile version. There is a separate responsive link. So responsive here, extra responsive nav link. And we do the same thing here. So route billing index. Unclick delete all of that. And billing. And let's refresh. Refresh the dashboard. And we have a link billing. And if we click, we have billing title and text journal free plan. Good. And finally, let's make a static list of three plans here, bronze, silver, and gold, just for an example. And for that, we go to Tailwind official homepage, Tailwind CSS, and we will use a grid component. Just copy and paste this grid into our billing index. So in here, for example, let's make a line here and let's have a grid from one to nine. So we need one, two, and three. We don't need all the nine. And in every grid element, we will have, for example, H2 bronze plan. And let's delete all of those. And let's see what we have here. Bronze, silver, gold. Refresh our page. And of course, it's not styled. So in Tailwind, we need to style those with classes like text Excel, for example. And let's refresh. Yeah, we have text Excel. And instead of that line, let's put just the margin. So margin top four, for example, and let's copy that in here. So silver and gold. Okay, let's add some pricing. So for example, 9.99 per month, and then we copy and paste here. So it will be 19 and 29, so three plans. And then let's add a button to subscribe on each of them. And for that, we can actually use Laravel Breeze component. There are quite a lot of components coming with Laravel Breeze, so blade components. And one of those components is button. So button blade, and how we can use it, we just do X button, like this. Subscribe to the plan, or just subscribe. Type button. For now, it won't lead anywhere. And let's put class margin top four again, and let's see how it looks. Refresh. Oh, and it doesn't have any new line. Okay, like this. Great. And let's copy that down below. And this will be our first static page for the billing. Now let's move those static plans to the database and load them from the database. So for that, we need a model, PHP artisan, make model plan dash M for migration. And let's generate a migration. In migration, what fields do we need? Database migrations, create plans. We need a plan name, so table name, then price. And price will store in integer in sense. It's a common practice in web development or in database actually management to store any money amount in cents, not in floats. And it's the same that is done by Stripe itself. So if you charge for some money amount, you need to pass cents. So we add price here. Then we will add Stripe plan ID, Stripe plan ID nullable by default. So we would know which Stripe plan it corresponds to because the plans will be in our database and in Stripe as products. And that's it for now. Then in the model of app plan, we need to make those fillable. So plan PHP, fillable, name, price, and Stripe plan ID. I forgot something here. Yep. This. Right. Let's run the migration. PHP artisan migrate. And then let's create a seeder for that specific plan. So anyone who would install that project locally, or even myself in the future, we would know what plans are inside. So we can create a separate plan seeder, or we can do it directly in database seeders, database seeder, just like this. So plan create name bronze plan price 999 which is in cents and just duplicate that silver plan 
gold plan with different price. So let's run the seed, PHP Artisan DB seed. And then we go into our billing controller. So billing controller. Let's close everything else, close other tabs. And we go plans equal plan all. Pass that to the index, compact plans. And then in the billing index blade, index blade, we do for each for each of the plans plans as plan we do plan name here then we do plan price but not just plan price it would be plan price like this so it would show in dollars for people but the actual price would be in cents and for each and we should have plans from our database but the visual thing should not be changed. We refresh and we still have the same thing, just the plans are from the database now. Now let's create a checkout page so you would click subscribe and something would happen. So we will create a route to checkout and let's start with a controller, PHP Artisan, make controller checkout controller and then we can use it into here. So let's duplicate that route get checkout and checkout of what of specific plan ID and we will use checkout controller checkout controller and the method checkout let's call it like this checkout like this let's close the sidebar again and then in our billing index we should have a link so let's change that button to actually have a link to route of checkout with parameter of plan ID. And we don't need X button. And we will add the style in a minute. For now, let's refresh. And we have a link, but without button style. So let's return those button styles. We have button blade in the components. So let's copy all that class, all that long tailwind chain of classes into here, class margin top four, paste here. And we have the same button just as a link. And if we click that, for now, we don't have that method and let's create it in the checkout controller, public function checkout plan ID. First, we search for the plan, find or fail. So if the plan is not found, it would throw 404 error and then we return view checkout with passing the plan. And we will create that checkout blade by doing file save as on index blade. So file save as instead of billing, actually let's put it in the same folder, but just billing checkout. And we change that to subscribe to plan name plan, actually space here. And instead of that, you're on free plan part, we should say pay some amount, plan price, again, round that. So it would be a proof that we chose the correct price. Let's refresh that page. View checkout was not found, or it was billing checkout. So billing checkout like this, refresh. And now we have subscribe to bronze plan plan. So we don't need the plan here. The word plan is unnecessary. We refresh and now we're here on our checkout page for a specific plan. And this is all I've done for this Stripe SAS series and thought to cancel it because majority of it is the same in Laravel 6 and in Laravel 8. So you can check out the full course. I will link it in the description below. And meanwhile, I will move on shooting courses for other topics.